What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for MLB Wednesday, June 30th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top DFS picks for today's MLB slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a nine game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the pitcher position. There's three pitchers that I like on the slate tonight. So I'm gonna go through all these guys. I think they're all in great spots with awesome matchups. So the first guy that I like is Aaron Nola with a 3% pitching advantage over a low salary batting team, the Miami Marlins. Aaron Nola is giving up a .605 OPS versus righties, and he's facing seven righties here tonight. On top of that, the Marlins have only hit 21 of his last 79 pitches. That's a 266 batting average. He's 11,000 fan dual salary, and he's 800 less on DraftKings. Projected at 30.7 fantasy points here tonight, he has an ERA of 3.97. His record is 5-4 on the season, pitching an average of 92 pitches per game, averaging 33 fantasy points per game. He scored 52, negative 8, and 60 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Aaron Nola here versus the Miami Marlins. Another pitcher I like is Luis Garcia with a 36% pitching advantage over a low salary batting team, the Baltimore Orioles. Luis Garcia is only giving up a .369 OPS versus righties and he's facing seven righties here tonight. So the splits are fantastic. There's no pitches versus the Orioles yet. He's 10,500 fan dual salary and he's 600 less on DraftKings. Projected at 22.6 fantasy points here tonight. His ERA is 2.83. His record is 6 and 4 on the season, pitching an average of 83 pitches per game, averaging 31 fantasy points per game. He scored 37, 46, and 16 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Luis Garcia here versus the Baltimore Orioles. And the other pitcher that I like is Chris Bassett, pitching against a low salary batting team, the Texas Rangers. Chris Bassett is giving up a .627 OPS versus righties, and he's facing six righties here tonight. On top of that, the Rangers have only hit 11 out of his last 40 pitches. That's a 275 batting average. He's 9,800 fan dual salary, and he's 700 more on DraftKings. Projected at 19.5 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score close to 30 here. His ERA is 3.25. Record is 8-2 on the season. Pitching an average of 94 pitches per game. Averaging 37 fantasy points per game. He scored 40, 37, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Chris Bassett here versus the Texas Rangers. Okay, let's take a look at the catcher first base position. I like Matt Olson with an 11% batting advantage over Colby Allard. Matt Olson is batting .843 OPS versus lefties. And Colby Allard is giving up a .728 OPS versus lefties. I like this pick because Matt Olson is 3 for 6, batting 500 with a 1 OPS versus Allard. He's 3,800 fan dual salary, 2,200 more on DraftKings, projected at 10.9 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 13 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored 0, 18, and 6 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Matt Olson here versus Kobe Allard. 
Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the second base position. I like Whit Merrifield with a 7% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Martin Perez. Whit Merrifield, he's batting a .782 OPS versus lefties. And Martin Perez is giving up a .790 OPS versus righties. Now, I like this pick because Whit Merrifield is 7 for 18, batting a 389 batting average and a .894 OPS versus Perez. He's 3,500 FanDuel salary. He's 2,200 more on DraftKings. Projected at 10.8 fantasy points here tonight averaging 12 fantasy points per game on the season and he's been on fire scoring 31 28 and 13 fantasy points in the last three games i also like this pick because vegas thinks this is going to be a high scoring game 11 runs scored in this game that's their over under so a lot of fantasy points to go around so i like wit merrifield here versus martin perez Okay, let's take a look at the third base position. This might be my favorite play on the slate. I like Gene Shigora with a 33% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Jordan Holloway. Gene Shigora is batting a .793 OPS versus righties. And Jordan Holloway, he pitches his worst ball versus righty batters, 38% worse than his other pitches giving up a 1.255 OPS versus righties. There's no at-bats versus Holloway yet, but Gene Shigora, the reason I like this pick so much, he's only 2,500 FanDuel salary and 900 more on DraftKings. Projected at 10.6 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 10 fantasy points per game on the season. He scored nine, three, and six fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Gene Shigora here versus Jordan Holloway. Okay, let's take a look at the shortstop position. I'm gonna give you a value play here. I like Ronald Torres with a 24% batting advantage over a, that same low salary pitcher, Jordan Holloway. Ronald Torres, he's batting a .659 OPS versus righties. And we know Jordan Holloway pitches his worst ball versus righty batters, 38% worse than his other pitches, giving up a 1.255 OPS versus righties. There's no at-bats versus Holloway yet, but I like this pick because Ronald Torres is only 2,100 FanDuel salary and 800 more on DraftKings. Projected at 7.8 fantasy points here tonight, he's only averaging 6 fantasy points per game on the season, and he scored 0, 10, and 9 fantasy points in the last three games. So I like Ronald Torres here versus Jordan Holloway. Okay, moving on to the outfield position. I like Tescar Hernandez with a 45% batting advantage over a low salary pitcher, Justice Sheffield. Tescar Hernandez He's batting 22% better versus lefty pitchers, batting a 1.064 OPS versus lefties. And Justice Sheffield, he pitches 23% worse to righties as he does lefties, giving up a .771 OPS versus righties. Tiascar Hernandez is two for two with a 2.5 OPS versus Sheffield. He's 3,400 FanDuel salary, and he's 1,500 more on DraftKings. Projected at 10.8 fantasy points here tonight, averaging 12 fantasy points per game on the season, and he's been on fire, 
scoring 15, 15, and 32 fantasy points in his last three games. And I like this pick because Vegas thinks it's going to be a high-scoring game. 10.5 runs scored in this game. That's their over-under. So I like Teoscar Hernandez here versus Justice Sheffield. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.